band member, so I can't shoot Brent, because let's be honest, nobody cares. <laughs> oh, you care. Somebody cares, Brent. Somebody cares. So I started hanging out with John a little bit, right? John? And him and I are like kind of the same height, so we see eye to eye, and, you know, like, he takes more showers than me, so I'm like, all right, uh, you know, you're a little cleaner and whatnot. He's super energetic, and he's a cool guy, and, you know, he's a drummer, so what you get to do? He's cool. So then I started getting uh, more involved with the band and uh, started hanging out with Paul. <laughs> Working the crowd. Jesus, Brent, I'm doing a good job, right? I'll keep going. And he's like the, the tall, handsome, dark, brooding guy. He definitely made me question my sexuality a little bit. Not too much, but a very good, a very good bowler as well, too. He's very good. So then, uh, you know, moving down the line, I got Paul, I got, you know, Beef. Move on to Brian. Now, Brian's like the rat. Brian's like real quiet, and, and he doesn't say much. But you know, when he says something, it's going to be awesome. And it always is. And then the most intimidating one out of the four, Martin Job. Now you get, you get thrown into a bus with Martin, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, it's like, is he cool? Is he, you know, is he the, just the dreamy guy? Is he going to say anything? He's got some stuff to say. As Martin... Martin is one of the nicest guys you can ever meet. He'll listen to you and talk to you, but then after the show, something happens. And he's no longer Martin. Oh no. He is now Party Marty. And when Party Marty comes out, look out. He's not listening. He's doing whatever he wants. He doesn't care about bus call. He doesn't care about anything. He's going to do what he wants, and, and that's that. That's what you want out of a rock star, right?